All right, so how can you double your Shopify sales with email marketing? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam. Now to kind of get started, I did put together kind of some things to go over with you guys, somewhat of some mistakes that people are doing, simple ways you can fix it, or the main topic of this video, how you can double your sales. With email marketing, when it comes down to it, there's a majority of people that have Shopify stores just aren't doing it. You know, one of the main ways we want to capitalize off all the traffic that we're driving to our stores is by having a, a backend system in place and taking advantage of the emails and the customer data that we're you know obviously receiving when it comes to email marketing there's a few different areas you have like you know the time of the day is important there's like subject lines are important and all these different things so when i first got started i didn't know about anything about subject lines i didn't know about time of the day none of that i literally just went and whipped up this quick email uh, it was about like 7 p.m at night if i recall we generated you know almost a thousand bucks in sales within 24 hours literally was like the worst looking email like i'm not that creative so it was ugly like it wasn't set up correctly nothing it was just like literally a basic email and after that happened obviously i realized like you know how much money we were leaving on the table by not emailing at all you know pretty much ever since then you know we've been sending emails out so what i wanted to kind of go over with you guys is just some of the simple things that people aren't doing and how you guys can capitalize you know, off an area where many people aren't taking advantage of. So tons of people are losing out on a ton of sales and revenue. And the reason why that's happening is because again, they're not sending out any emails at all. They just have people coming into their store through their ads, right? Maybe they're running Facebook ads or maybe they're running Instagram influencer shout outs, whatever way they're using to drive traffic to their store. That's the only way that they're getting people to come back to the store and see other offers and you know other products they have. If you guys think about some of the bigger companies, again like Amazon, Apple, all these huge companies, or pretty much any other website that you you know you buy or you do any online shopping from, they're always going to be sending you more emails. You know right after you buy, and they send you offers all the time. Some of them get a little annoying, but they're still sending out those emails because they know that they can capitalize way more off of a customer that's already purchased than you know a brand new person in order for people to buy again they have to see another ad so that again makes it so that you have to spend again advertising money to get a customer to come in when you could have simply emailed them to come back and you know see your store see your offer whatever the case may be only driving traffic from your ads is a huge mistake again that's what mo a majority of people focus on but we're focusing on this strategy that i'm actually sharing with you guys which again is super cutting edge because this is what the huge uh, e-commerce guys are doing and i know the, i know that for a fact because you know i have buddies that are making six seven figures in e-commerce and we talk about these things and these are the things that they're doing this is the platform that we use for our email marketing it's called clavio this is it's a little more advanced a little bit for more advanced people but again you guys can also utilize it but it pretty much has a lot of the same features you can use mailchimp you know email softwares to help you send out these emails but this is just the one that we use because it's a little more advanced now we're doing you know a lot more advanced things and this clavio actually lets you do it but you can see right here so the last seven days the revenue has been about twenty three thousand uh fifty eight dollars just within email marketing we've generated fourteen hundred and fifty nine dollars and these emails are actually part of the of flows that we have set up i'm actually going to explain to you guys what flows are but basically these emails are being sent out automatically so i haven't prepared any emails or i haven't manually sent them out there are already these custom flows that i've put together that automatically once a customer falls into place into a certain action like if they you know if they didn't buy if they abandoned the cart or if they did buy they automatically have these emails getting sent out and i'm going to obviously cover a lot more into it than how that works but you can see right here campaigns i've actually you know we've had we've been pretty busy these last few days so we haven't even sent out any campaign offers all the only emails that we've been that has been, have been going out are from the ones from the flows. And again, I haven't done anything. This has literally been automatic. I have not touched, you know, the only time I even pop in here that I've popped in this week is simply to see, you know, kind of what's going on. You can send offers to your customers that you already have because the reason why you can do that is you already know the kind of products that they bought. You already know somewhat of their interest. And of course, they already trust you. So it's very likely that someone that's already bought from you compared to someone that hasn't will buy from you again. If it ha Obviously, if you have the right offer put together and obviously if it makes sense. So coming out to the second point, uh, these customers that you already have the data from, again, which is all the emails that you've collected. Again, this is a little more advanced for people that are a little bit more ahead uh, with their stores. Uh, these customers are more likely to buy than, and I kind of misspelled this, I'll just put cold traffic. Uh, these people, the customers you already have, currently have, are more likely to buy than cold traffic and people that haven't bought from you before. And the reason why, again, is because they already have, you know, trusted you for whatever reason. Maybe your store, they liked your store, they liked your ads, like your products. You know, they've already had that trust. They've bought from you, 
and they've already, you know, they're already familiar with you and, the, and your website and your store. So someone that has already bought from you is way more likely to buy from you again than someone who hasn't. This is one of the main reasons why people mainly focus on, you know, the back end. They don't really focus on just driving, you know, making that front end sale, that one time buy. They really focus on the back end because you can usually get them to buy more than just twice. You can have consistently repeat buyers. And this is something, again, that we're going to show you guys how you can capitalize off and how you can have specific emails for, you know, repeat buyers. So how can you capitalize off the people that have already purchased from your store? One of the easiest ways you can do it is simply by starting to send out emails. Literally exactly what I did is, uh, I believe it was on, like on a Thursday night, because I, I was checking the, the emails that we had sent out, starting from the first one, and all I did was literally put this email together, I put in some offers of like our, you know, some of our related products from our best selling product at the time, and I simply sent it out, and we just started generating sales, it was that simple, right? I had a terrible subject line, I probably sent it at the wrong time of the day, and it, it just was not a good email, trust me. Uh, I went back and looked at the analytics, it wasn't that good. You know, whenever I'm talking to these people, I do ask them, you know, some simple questions just to kind of get an idea of maybe if, where I can find out what the missing link is in their business as to why they're not getting results. And a good portion of the time, it's the fact that they're not sending out any emails and that's literally costing them sales. I've actually talked to people that are, you know, doing six figures a month and they're actually not doing any emails. And I, after I showed them like our statistics, they realized the power and, you know, the revenue that they're missing out on. First thing you can do is simply start sending out emails that's already putting you ahead of everybody else. Second thing you could do is have basically these email platforms like Klaviyo or MailChimp, they let you do these things called segmenting or segmenting email or segmenting list. But what that is specifically is you can simply set up a specific list of um, customers based on the kind of products they've bought. So if you have a top selling, let's say two or three products, you can set up specific list for those three products and have specific emails going out, you know, for people that buy those products. And the reason why that's effective and why that works really well is because with these specific customers that are in this list, you're not sending them random email offers. You're sending, you're gonna be sending them specific offers with congruent products. Like let's say if, if I'm selling these toy Lamborghinis, right? Obviously you probably can't drop ship batteries, but a congruent upsell could be, you know, batteries because obviously this thing is gonna run out of batteries and it's gonna need more batteries. So a congruent upsell for that specific list of customers that have purchased this Lamborghini, you'd have an email set up where after this customer buys this Lamborghini, maybe the next day or a few days after they basically get an automatic email saying like hey uh, I know you guys previously bought this Lamborghini now I figure since you guys already purchased this Lamborghini we know that it runs on batteries and this is that we're actually having a one-time sale on these specific batteries so that's just an example of how you can segment your your email list and pr pretty much every single email software lets you do it so MailChimp lets you do it Klaviyo lets you do it all of them usually let you do it the last thing you guys can do that will definitely increase sales. If we go back and refer to this email, you guys can see right here, a majority of the sales that I made from emails were from flows and they were from different flows. So I have a customer win back, new customer thank you, abandoned cart, browser abandonment, repeat customer product review, cross sale welcome series. Some of these have been a little slower these days, but I've had there, it's only, again, I'm only looking at the last seven days. If I look at the last 30 days, it'll be a lot more. But basically what these, these sequences are is, they're basically, you can set it up on your email provider where based on a customer specific actions, the first one will start, a, you have different email sequences which you have basically pre-purchase, abandoned cart, post-purchase, repeat customers, win back campaigns. These are all different sequences that we have in place and basically the way that these sequences work is it takes some time to set it up, like you wanna, you have to learn about what kind of email is going to play, when they go out the time, the subject lines and all that. But basically after you learn these sequences, you can then, take the time to set them up. And after you set them up once, you usually don't have to touch them ever again. And they you know, consistently go out on a day-to-day -day basis after you set it up. So basically a welcome series, what that would be is after someone opts into your email list uh, to either receive a newsletter or a discount, the way you can get these guys to opt into your email list is pretty simple. My One of my previous videos going over the top Shopify apps I recommend, you can have a, a plugin where it's called like Wheelio, I believe, they can enter their email for a chance to get a discount. And with, their, with that, what's gonna happen is after whatever discount they get, it's gonna get emailed to them and obviously you get to capture their emails. So you can have a specific series of emails going out right off the back after your customer opts in and that could be simple emails like, hey, you know, welcome to our store, this is what we're about. You know, just to kind of build that brand and build that trust, right? Then from there, you can have another email like, 
you know, again, just building, you're just giving them value. These email sequences all have different purposes. Your welcome series, your main goal is basically welcome your customer in, let them know who you are, and just get them used to seeing your brand more than once. Abandoned car, post purchase, and repeat customers. So welcome series, basically just to get them used to your name, your store, your brand. Abandoned car, after they look at a product and they don't buy, again, you wanna have a set of emails going out, obviously reminding them that to complete their order. Simple things happen when we're looking at things that happened to me the other day, I was doing some online shopping, uh, we had to step out, I had to drive, so I forgot to finish my order even though I really wanted it. So you guys can have emails going out for abandoned cards, you know, maybe like an hour after a customer abandons their card the next day and or, you know, two days after that. You guys can pretty much play around with it and test it. Again, that would be like a whole other video on its own, but that's just to give you guys an idea. Now, post-purchase emails are basically gonna be emails that go out after customers have bought uh, a product, right? And again, what you can do is post-purchase is segment your emails based on the kind of products that they bought. That way you have congruent emails going out for that specific product and that makes it a lot more likely that these customers are gonna buy from your emails. Here have your post purchase, then you have your repeat customers, which is basically customers that have bought more than once. Basically for this sequence, you would incentivize your customers obviously a lot more than regular customers because they've already have bought and they have purchased from your store more than once. So obviously you wanna give them a bigger incentive to purchase again. And then win back campaigns are simply customers that haven't purchased, that have purchased from your store more than once but haven't purchased in a while so then again you just remind these customers like hey we appreciate obviously you guys buying from us once and twice or however many times they bought we want to make sure we give you this specific coupon just for you to actually come back and you know buy another product so that's basically just a breakdown of the different sequences you can have set up in your business now, i hope you guys got value from this video again if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up also leave me a comment below if you guys want to see more videos like this and again, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.